New tonight, we are looking into the alarming number of calls for drug overdoses in St. Louis City and County. Fox 2's Andy Banker shows why reversing course may go beyond law and order. Well, this is what police, firefighters and EMS are running into these days. The St. Louis County Health Director says users may be looking for cocaine or methamphetamine, but 90 to 95 percent of the time, they're also getting fentanyl mixed in, even though they don't know it's there. And the drug overdoses just won't let up. This overdose call at the city jail was the St. Louis Fire Department's 40th citywide in the past week. It was not fatal. St. Louis police have had overdose calls at Lofts on Washington Avenue and Spruce Street downtown, plus along Broadway in South St. Louis, 19 total this week. St. Louis County police report 196 calls so far this year, down from 235 at this point in 2022, but hugely concerning. A reminder of why just came from Florida, where authorities intercepted 22 pounds of fentanyl, which they say is enough to cause 5 million overdoses. This drug in that small amount kills you DRT dead right there. This is a preventable chronic disease. St. Louis County's public health director specializes in addiction medicine. She says we need more than the law and order approach with such persistent overdose numbers. Fears, their stigma, I may get incarcerated. You know, individuals going to use by themselves, but it's a risk factor for an overdose because no one's there to administer naloxone to the individual to reverse the overdose. So the health department has given away more than 1,600 naloxone or Narcan kits this year. The department also now offers free kits to care for wounds from IV drug use with instructions on how to avoid spreading disease. This may make users more likely to return to the health department for treatment. It may just be that one time when someone say, you know what, I think I may want to try it now. And if they don't, how can we keep you alive so I can bring you back the next day to continue to engage you in the conversation and build those relationships? The way to break the grip of addiction, she says, is through listening to the addicted. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.